So we created our first project. And when you work with project, you notice we was creating different shaders and other objects. And sometimes you want to save them. The best way to do is work with your library and save. So let's open our library and look a little bit closer what we have here. So in a library, in our pop-up window, we have it on our left side, the browsing through the categories, favorites. We have a preview if it's available. And we also have it items that may add it as we're using. For example, right here, I have it some plants. And this is a free plants from the um, XFrog. You can download it them. And to add them to your collection, you can actually go ahead, click add files to the library or scan folders for the library. So it will scan through all of them and add it to your library. The nice things about library that it can share it through the project or can share it with other people. So it's very really nice. You also, if you for some reason delete it or miss it, you can say show only missed files. So it will can look on this. We also can refresh our library if library was updated. Okay, so next, this is property. We can also go ahead and open file through dialog and we can add library item to favorites. This is kind of important because if, for example, I have many variations and I think the one variations is the best for me, so I can go select this variation and next I can add it to my favorite. So when I go search through the favorites right here, this is where we'll display it. And well, we're on this side, so let's go look. Right here, we have it all our library favorites, if we add any of them. We have it recently added, if you want to go by the today, before, month, week, and all this stuff. We have it also by the type, which have it clips, if you have it any of the shaders, other ones, high fields, image, objects, and also projects. For example, I was opening some test projects and here they displayed. If you have your other project, you can then display as well. You can also remove them from the projects or from the list if you don't want it. Or for example, with a project, you can directly open from the libraries. So library, it's almost like your universal bridge to the content that Turgen 3 have. We also have another one sort by the categories. So in categories, you can have it by the different object shares or um, cameras and other. So just helpful and easiest way to find. So let's go ahead and select one of them. You'll notice we have also information details. If we leave open description of any applied polygons currently for the object, which is useful and additional metadata again, if it's supplied and as well, you can choose preview preview mode for this one. If for some reason some of them object does not have it any image, you can also assign um, specific image to this to the preview of the um, your file. Okay, we also can go ahead and search through this import object if we just select one object. For example, if this OBG or tree in this currently, I can select one and import as an object in our object, or I can import as population. Let's do this one, import as population, just as example. And you notice right here in my object tab that is open automatically. Now I have my um, plant as a single instance. And as well, I have it populations. It's represented by group of this object. It's very naive. As well, if we open both of them let's look right here we have it share our materials but in here we also have it our object which is represent here and also this is showing how it's linked to our terrain so we can see at this moment our population where is a link and it's how it's connected and you remember it's going from down up so we have all the shaders going around our terrains our compute terrain that necessary to connect it. And of course, main shader. So you can preview all of this and how they link inside this. 
Okay, let's go back to library. So this is one way you can also has a open the project directly or imported shaders, which will open directly into your objects as well. The library was introduced, if I'm right, in Turgen 3. And this has kind of become a um, very useful um, tool when you start reference, mostly as a bridge to the oil content inside the Turgen 3.